the website, all mark. So uh, in this specific case, uh, the heuristic evaluation was uh, uh, on the top of the funnel. Uh, Hallmark uh, is uh, the oldest and larger, largest manufacturer of greeting cards in the United States. Other than that, they also produce uh, party goods, uh, gift wrap, stationery, and they are even involved in uh, television with uh, the long-running uh, Hallmark Hall of Fame. For this specific website, we will focus on the desktop, uh, sorry, on the mobile. Uh, and the main request from them was to analyze the top of the funnel and focus on how users find and select greeting cards. So it is for sure a big challenge because people have different needs and there are probably many, many occasions where you want to use a greeting card. Uh, okay, so in this specific case, the flow will start from the home page, then we we'll go to the birthday cards hub, then we we'll move to results for woman, car or woman cards, then again to the home page, the result transition page, and the results page for man cards. Uh, you will understand a little bit more those pages uh, because my task was to find a birthday card for my mom. Uh, at the beginning, we are going to more browsing, and in the end, we are going to use more uh, search. This is the difference. That's why we pass again from the home page. And now, let's move to the other website that in, in this case is here. Okay, this website uh, is in Dutch, so I will uh, translate it in English. Uh, this might slightly break the uh, interface, uh, but probably it will be, you know, also necessary to uh, to understand. So here uh, we have the home page, uh, and uh, it is possible. These are cards and gift. It is possible to search, and these are the different categories. So as I said before, just you know, go back to that. You need, to, you need to fill out your uh, heuristic evaluation checklist. Again, me, of course, we are this, this time is mobile, and I want to find a birthday card for my mom. Of course, I'm Italian, the birthday card of my mom is approaching, so for me it's really, really important to find the perfect greeting card for her. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, here, I wish I was able to translate it to English, but it doesn't seem now. Uh, but I can tell you that this, uh, it means birthday. I remember that. So potentially, if uh, I want to um, find a birthday card for my mom, I will definitely start from this. So other than that, yeah, there are many information in the in the, in the main page, but uh, in my opinion, there are not major uh, red flags, or at least uh, we'll um, focus on the next page. Maybe if it load. Great, you can even translate to English here. It's fantastic. Okay, so here, uh, let's start uh, as I said before, and we go from top to bottom because usually uh, users uh, scan in this way. So uh, if we see, if we look at this first uh, area, we see gift including cards of your choice. So what, in my opinion, can be problematic, it is this icon. Because this um, icon with this tick, with this uh, check mark, somehow is telling me that something has been added, something has been achieved, uh, maybe I've included something to my card. Uh, therefore, as it is something quite small, sure, but on the other hand, this can be also uh, uh, misleading for users. So I've included in this specific page, in this specific tab, uh, in a consistency and uh, and uh, and standard, because in consistency and standard, uh, these heuristics say that you should use exactly the same design pattern that are more common in all the other websites. You should use the same also in your website. Essentially, you need to stick to conventions. This is the main thing. And this, uh, this icon, it might, you know, suggest that something has been achieved. 
So I would suggest in this case to remove this icon and use uh, you know, a different way uh, to represent uh, that specific type of content. Now, this is something really minor. So I gave, I gave one, I just mentioned it. And now there is this hero image. In this hero image, uh, there is birthday cards, and then there is a send a birthday card. Sure. For me, this is a little bit uh, um, not super clear because yes, my objective is to send a birthday card. And there is another point. If we click here, we will find out that this entry point, send a birthday card, it is exactly the same to this entry point. So birthday cards for a woman. So also in this case, we have what we have mentioned before. So two things that tend to, to, uh, to be quite different in terms of visualization, um, they, they trigger the same action, right? And this can be, of course, misleading. Therefore, I have already included also this inconsistency and standard. And my main recommendation is to make sure that entry point that looks different have a different function. Now, going to a birthday cards for for a woman. Um, in this birthday cards for uh, for a woman, I'm not entirely sure if these birthday cards for women are uh, exactly for my mom in this specific case, because okay, woman are okay. It's my sister. It's my girlfriend. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm going in the right direction. But anyway, I'm going to click. I'm going to click because the other category there looks less promising. So in general, uh, this is not super, uh, you know, uh, it's not super clear for me. It's not really guiding me, but uh, OK, I'm going to give it a try. So let's go to birthday girls for, for a woman. OK, in this birthday gets for woman, um, what I'm looking for now is something that can fit also for my mom, right? So first, uh, if I go to from top to bottom again, uh, first I will examine you know, this main category that are on top. Uh, and uh, I can tell you that there was nothing about mom. Wooden cards, for example, hip and trendy classic. I will look at you know, all these cards. Uh, trying to find something related to my mom. And I'll try to scroll down to uh, to find something that is birthday, but also mom. And as you can see, we have different grouping system here. And we have a lot, a lot of options. So this can be, you know, uh, it can be quite overwhelming. Because here there are a bunch of different type of, of, uh, uh, of uh, birthday cards that are not only for um, there for women, in general, but not exactly for my mom. Uh, therefore, at this point, I might be a little bit, uh, a user at least, might be at least uh, a little bit lost, because essentially these three, this system, this visualization, and this grouping, it might be not super helpful. So in the list, list card for women, I have noted three findings. The findings, uh, Number one is the category on top are not really helpful. The finding number two is uh, the, the list of birthday cards can be overwhelming and not exactly to the point. And the, the grouping system also are not guiding me. So my main suggestion would be really to provide uh, a better way for, um, for these users to browse between the different categories or using, for example, also search or dynamic search, for example. So that would be, you know, my suggestion there, although uh, I can see, you know, that this is quite a challenge. So uh, at this point, I will go back and uh, I will try to use the search uh, that I found out at the beginning in the home page. So I click here to go back. OK, and this is quite, I would say, uh, problematic because I'm clicking the arrow to go back, right? So the classical arrow to go back should bring me back. So this is, uh, you know, the classical user expectations. And then I have, you know, a, a list of uh, uh, many, many categories. So uh, here, actually, we are violating two heuristics. Number one is consistency and standard. So if there is a arrow to go back, I should be able to click it to go back, right? Uh, as the back button of the browser. And then there is also user control and freedom because Every action that a user do 
should be uh, a user should also be able to undo it. Okay, so um, uh, my warmer suggestion here would be if click if a user click one arrow to go back, they should be able to go back uh, because these can be quite surprising and can be violate their expectations. So let's go back to the to search. To the home page, essentially, and in the home page we will try to perform a search for um, for mom. In this case, I will use M A M instead of M O M, just because in Dutch, you know, it's uh, uh, it is spelled in this way. So if we look for uh, now, we can look for uh, mom. and uh, uh, we are going to land in this specific page where it's a sort of a results hub page, where we have cards, then we, there we have gift, right? And then we have also the um, uh, email uh, uh, the su subscription to the newsletter. So here, the only, the only thing that I want to highlight is that here we have three CTA, right? One CTA for the cards, one CTA for the gift, and one CTA for the newsletter. So in terms of aesthetic and minimalist design, essentially, we are having three CTA that compete with each other. So one is definitely not useful. These are the one about the newsletter. So my suggestion, although this is not the most important thing, but my suggestion would be just to remove it. Because if you have enough traffic in that website, you will increase your conversion. There will be less distraction. This is still aesthetic and minimalist design. Okay, but well, let's move forward. We're getting there, guys. Eh? Uh, hold tight. Stay with me. So then we go to cards. And uh, in cards here, I will, uh, I will find out the cards for my mom, which is great. So I'm getting closer, really closer to my objective. Uh, the, the, the only, let's say, problem here is... Uh, that there are 388 results, and these 388 results are for my mom, but are for mom in general. So it can be Mother's Day, it can be, uh, you know, uh, anything. Uh, this is more also, it's not exactly for mom, or at least it doesn't resonate with the concept, of my concept of mom. So um, essentially, there is a lot of variety with the 388 cards. So essentially, we will need to. Um, um, this can be a little bit overwhelming. Therefore, in this case, I will, I will filter for birthday cards. So this is birthday cards in Dutch. So in this case, I will have mom and birthday cards. So exactly what I'm looking for. So I am getting closer, theoretically. But what we, will, what we, uh, we can notice here, if I translate to English, and this is an important one, so uh, really, really, really important. It is a visibility of system status. Because here I can see only that I'm looking for, I'm only looking for birthday cards, but not birthday cards for my mom. So I might be confused. Is it my search correct? Am I going in the right direction? And also if we look at the visualization that is here, is not exactly something that inspired me, birthday cards and mom, right? Because there are flowers, flowers that can be essentially sent to everyone. So if, if we go to uh, this page, and this is the last, uh, last page that we analyze. So the main point here is in visibility of the system, class, make sure that your system always say, um, you know, what kind of results is providing. So, or because otherwise people, you know, can get lost and might be not be able to understand where they are if they are doing the right thing. So uh, I would basically include there, birthday cards and also for mom. And and uh, this is, uh, I think, the most important, the most important thing to consider. And the other, the second most important thing to consider is that also the first birthday cards that we show there, they give immediately an impression that these one are birthday cards for my mom. So in this way, the user have the possibility, actually the confirmation that they have triggered the right search. 
yeah, that was a little bit uh, articulated, this analysis. So let's go back to the uh, main presentation because I want to provide the main recommendation for this website. So of course, uh, this is a hard, uh, is a hard challenge uh, to deliver exactly, you know, the, the right greeting cards to the right users. But I do believe that with a mixed method approach, we can investigate user mental models. And investigating these user mental models, um, we will be able to create a taxonomy, a system of categories, an integration between a guiding browsing system and a search system that can guide people directly, you know, from their desire to their uh, perfect greeting cards. So if you want to have uh, uh, additional information also to Walmart, I'm really happy to, uh, you know, give you additional information. Contact me in alessio.zazzarini at uxboost.com. And uh, also um, uh, here, last suggestion, really focus on card sorting, because in this way you might be able, you know, to investigate the mental models of your users.